How's it going everyone? Quick video for today because we have some breaking news. I was just talking about this and you know we have a guest star who wants to sleep right there so you guys could just stare at him the whole time if you want and just ignore me. He's the actual star of this show. But uh, there, it's not even a show. It's a channel but there's breaking news uh, as you can tell by the title. I wanted to make its own uh, an own video on this because I've mentioned this in some race reviews and I've talked about it two to three times and I have been proven wrong mainly because I didn't know where he could go. And I forgot about one team, you know, they're still fairly new and they just kind of, you know, go across my head. I don't really think about it, but that's where he's going. So uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about and you can't read titles of videos, I'm sure you can. Okay, I'm sure you can. So you already know. But Tyler Reddick is headed to 23XI. I, you know, I don't really even call it 23XI. I just call it, you know, the Michael Jordan racing team, basically. Uh, Joe Gibbs part two, <laughs> like the workaround to have more Gibbs cars. That's basically what it is. So he's essentially getting into Joe Gibbs equipment. Uh, and that is really good. That's like super, super, uh, a super great opportunity for, for Reddick. Now it will be in 2024, not 2023. So we're in 2022. He next year goes to the RCR 2023. And then he runs in 2024 with 23 XI. It is not confirmed if it will be a third car or if it will be likely repa uh, replacing Kurt Busch due to retirement. Now, uh, Kurt Busch is allowed to race however long he wants. Um, I, I think right now the first option will be try to get a third car. Uh, that's going to be option number one. Now, you know, if this was any other, if this was some small team, you'd be like, ah, they can't get a third car. This is Michael Jordan, okay? He has the money to do whatever the heck he pleases when it comes to NASCAR. He did not come into NASCAR to make money. He's losing money. He knows he's losing money. He does not care. He wants to win races and be a, a successful car owner. He's always loved NASCAR, even when he was playing basketball back in the 90s and the 80s. He's always loved it. Um, so he's not in this to make money. So if he wants to make a third team, he can do that. If Kurt Busch wants to retire in 2023 and, and uh, Tyler Reddick takes over the 45 and they still want a third car and they want to put a, a, a driver like, I don't know, uh, Ty Gibbs or, you know, Gibbs, Ty Gibbs is probably going to Joe Gibbs Racing. But if they want to put someone else, name a name, and have a third car, he can do that. He has the money to do it. And uh, again, w uh, by that time in 2024, the uh, the cost of the uh, of running a Cup Series team will not be as harsh as it, as it is right now. One of the main features of this next gen car is for uh, the owners to, you know, it's a lot more cost efficient, essentially, when it comes to um, NASCAR racing in the Cup Series. So but it, it hasn't taken place yet. All the owners will tell you it's going to take place a few years down the line. So it, this is not a money thing. This is not a, um, you know, I, we can't do it thing. They can do it if they want. So I would say that's probably the number one option right now is that it will be a third car. Um, but right behind it, and also very likely, is Kurt Busch does retire in at the end of 2023. They keep it as a two-car team, and uh, then then Tyler Reddick joins up with Bubba Wallace um, in 2024. Uh, Bubba Wallace is not going anywhere, okay? He has that ride. It's his ride. He's not going anywhere. Don't even start the rumors that I don't want to hear it. Don't even bring up the notion that Bubba Wallace is going to lose his ride. It's not going to happen, okay? So just forget about it. Uh, and, you know, to be fair, I think he kind of deserves that ride. He needs to be a little bit better, but he still deserves, deserves that ride. And uh, don't, it's just not happening. So don't think about it. What do I think about the move? I think it's awesome. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, guys. Uh, do you like this move for Reddick? It's a harsh reality for Richard Childress Racing. You know, I, you know, it, it sucks to say. 21 years ago, when it happened, it, it, the landscape changed forever. You know, if that never happened, DEI is probably still around, and they're probably a powerhouse in NASCAR. If that never happened, Richard Childress Racing is probably also m in a much better shape than they are right now. I don't take joy in, in actively be coming on here onto this channel and saying Tyler Reddick needs to leave RCR. I, I think it's kind of spoiled and ignorant of me to keep saying that, but it is the truth. If you want to win races and win championships, you, you cannot be racing at RCR. It's an unfortunate reality um, that has been lingering for many years, like we've known it. It's kind of like the Chip Ganassi racing scenario, and Ganassi closed shop. He, he went out, and I was saying the same thing about Chip Ganassi Racing. I do not think you can win multiple races and championships there, and Kyle Larson was carrying that team. I think Tyler Reddick is in that very similar situation right now where he is carrying Richard Childress Racing. 
and I, I don't personally see a future where RCR is competitive, uh, and I mean with the big boys. Uh, 23XI will overtake them, they probably already have to be honest. Um, and then you have Penske, you have SHR, you have Hendrick, you have Gibbs, and you have Penske. That's a lot of teams and Trackhouse Racing. Trackhouse Racing is obviously doing better than... So how many teams have I just named? Six, seven, maybe eight? I mean, it's just... It, it's not going to be feasible for them to be competitive. And that's the harsh reality. So Tyler Reddick had to go. That's what I was saying for a while. And uh, he made the move. I'm very proud of him and whoever um, he represents him to make that deal with Denny Hamlin, with Michael Jordan, and get that ride. Whether, you know, what the sponsorship will be like. Hopefully uh, Reddick will be able to bring some sponsorship with him um, but also sponsorship usually is easier with that team because you have the Michael Jordan name behind it so sponsors when they look in a NASCAR like any sponsor I mean I don't think I'm being crazy by saying you're probably looking at Michael Jordan as your number one target for a race team if you want to sponsor a car then Hendrick Motorsports would probably be number two but Hendrick Motorsports is very expensive to sponsor um, and I don't think 23XI is, is as expensive to sponsor as Hendrick Motorsports. Um, I don't know the facts about that, but Hendrick is notoriously very expensive to, to land sponsorship with. So if you are a new sponsor wanting to come into NASCAR, your number one target is to team up with Michael Jordan. It's just that simple. So uh, if, if they are making a third team or if Tyler Reddick needs sponsorship, in the next two years, I do not see any issue uh, with him finding sponsorship for that ride. Um, full primary sponsorship for all 36 plus races, whatever it is. I think he will find it. Um, I'm, I don't want to make this video too long, but guys, it's a beautiful move. It's a move that I think leads Tyler Reddick into championship contention in the near future. I think very highly of this driver. I have him... Um, well, let's just, I'll, I'll tell you guys right now, you know, best drivers in the sport, you know, I'm still thinking Kyle Larson's up there, Chase Elliott's up there, Kyle Busch is up there, Truex is underrated, I think Ryan Blaney's really, really good, Tyler Reddick's up there, like, the, the, he is up there with these guys, maybe not on the same level as a Kyle Larson or, or a Kyle Busch or a Chase Elliott, but I, I think he is very clearly right below that tier side by side with Ryan Blaney with Truex with with uh, a lot of these other drivers that are very very talented um, and can easily win multiple races get themselves in the final four and win a championship remember that's all you gotta do you just have to get into the final four that's it and then you have one race anything can happen in one race you can win a championship this is a championship level driver this is a championship level contender and most importantly I, I've uh, I've met Tyler Reddick before um, in the in the RCR hauler this is a genuine nice and humble guy who loves racing and has the right head on his shoulders understands good racing etiquette all, everyone in, in the in the uh, on the the field <laughs> the, his drivers they I, I had a brain fart there Everyone respects him. Uh, they understand how good of a driver he is. He literally just went out at a road course, 1v1 with the road course king of Chase Elliott, who dominated that whole race and straight up beat him over the course of like a 50 lap, like not 50 laps, but like a 30 lap run, 35 lap run. He beat him one on one. They were 15 seconds ahead of third place. Like th he has the talent at road courses, dirt tracks, ovals, super speedway. Eh, maybe not super speedways. Still working on a super speedway racing, but speedways, intermediate tracks, short tracks. He's been very, very good at uh, dirt tracks. Obviously, if NASCAR wants to do more of those road courses, he has been underrated. Look at look at some of the performances he's been putting in on road courses. Don't just look at Road America. Look at the performances he has been putting in uh, for the past year, basically, on road courses. This is a very, very good road course racer. This is a very, very good all-around great guy, great race car driver, and easily the best choice that 23XI could have picked up. Uh, and I'm, I, I cannot praise him or compliment this move enough, and I am really, really excited to see him. I know it's far away, two years i'm really really excited to see him at 23xi racing to team up with michael jordan and denny hamlin and bubba wallace and maybe kurt bush if he still wants to race um that is uh, a great great move for him best move he could make um so i'm gonna end it there guys let me know what you think in the comments below uh of of tyler reddick's move i, I can't praise it enough i think it's awesome take care of yourselves follow me on twitter and instagram if you're not already subscribe if you're new i'll see you guys tomorrow for another video take care of yourselves say goodbye to the sleepy dog and uh i'll see you guys tomorrow peace out